Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you some images with numbers and I want you to see if you can crack the code. Take a look at this one. If you know that these nine lines equal nine, then what does that mean that just one of these sticks equals? It equals one, right? Okay, let's look at another one. All right, this one's a little trickier. 43, what does that mean that we already know that our sticks or lines equal one, so then what does that mean that these little upside down U shapes equal? 10, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, one, two, three. I'm gonna write that down. Let's look at another one. I know that this image represents 3,010. I know that this upside down U, we already figure out represents 10. So then what do each of these little guys represent? 1,000. 1, 2, 3,000, 3,010. That would give me 3,010. Let's try one more, and then we're gonna talk about what base it's in. So how about this one? If you know that that equals 257, think about what each symbol represents. Now again, because I've already cracked the code a little bit, I know that my lines are one, so I see that I've got seven here. I know that each of these little upside down U shapes are worth 10, which gives me 50. And these guys, I don't know what they are, but since I know that this whole number represents 257, and I'm still left with 200 to come up with, and there's two of them, I can guess that they're both worth 100. And I can write that down as well. Next, what I want you to think about is what year we are in right now. Could you write that in Egyptian? What would it look like? Let's finish by thinking about what base the Egyptians were operating in. And how do I know that? First of all, I see that the smallest number I ever have is one. Then I go up to 10. I can see 100 here and 1,000. So what I'm thinking to myself is, okay, if I'm going to write this out in my bases, what base is going to be underneath of them so that I can multiply it to the power of zero, the power of one, the power of two, the power of three, so on, to get these numbers. So again, 10 to the power of one is 10, 10 to the power of zero is one, 10 squared is 100, and 10 cubed is 1,000. I can easily see that the Egyptians were operating in base 10. That's awesome. Here's where it gets tricky. Not every ancient civilization operated in base 10. I know it sounds crazy. As you look into other numeration systems, you'll see that not every civilization was in base 10. They were in other bases. That's all I'll tell you for now. I hope you found this video helpful and you now have a better idea of the Egyptian numeration system.